These are cherry blossom wine Lay's chips. That was so dramatic. These ones actually blew my mind and y'all better know I love you because I'm eating these again. Go back for my favorites. Baby, the bite doesn't make you want a salsa. Mmm. Hey, my little love bugs. It is Tosh Point Fro from ToshPointFro.com, and I'm back with another mukbang and the hiccups. So who knows when those are gonna pop out. Guys, today we are going to be eating not only some of my infamous hot Cheeto pickles, but I also have all of these really, really interesting chip flavors of Lay's that I ended up finding at the Asian market, 99 Ranch Market. Not, 99 Ranch, I forgot what it's called. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you do, please leave me a comment because you might just get chosen for a shout out. Oh my God, these hiccups are killing me. Shout out to you. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. I love you. Let's pray and let's get into this food. Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. I am trying to stay on my path, trying to stay diligent, trying to make sure that I get everything that I need to get done. I know that you're helping me find a way. Please find, ugh, please bless my audience. Plus, oh my gosh, these hiccups. Jesus wept. I got a fork for no reason. God know my heart, y'all. Ooh. I'm sorry. I just I snuck that first bite so quick, like like you weren't even here. Fresh one. Oh. This is for you. I know you want some ranch. Yeah, yell at me when I don't give you ranch. Here you go, baby. Take that bite. Mmm. Every time I come back to these things, it's like on the second Jurassic Park where Alan goes back to the site and he sees like the herd of animals and he's like, I'd almost forgotten because he had like almost forgotten the beautiful side of the um, Jurassic Park and the families of dinosaurs. Like, yeah, that's what I feel every time I eat these. Mm. Cause they're good, 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 good. I'm gonna try these chips for you too. Yes, oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, y'all, I went to the bar yesterday just to have a, like a glass of wine and this appetizer that I like because they have this fried asparagus with lump crab on top, it's delicious. Tell me why the man next to me was just like, so how is it? And I was just like, because it's so good. He ended up ordering the same thing. Okay, so first we're going to go with this bag of chips. These are chestnut flavored. I'll be honest with you. They just, they just, but, but what I'm realizing is that other countries have stuff like this where you get chestnut flavored chips. So here's what it looks like up close. I think them is flavor crystals. They smell like waffles, to be honest with you. And they kind of taste like waffles. So you get that sweetness which I don't know where that comes from because <laughs> I don't I don't know. 
but you get like this level of sweetness that tastes almost like syrup but the nutty flavor comes through too so it just kind of comes across like waffles but like not the best waffles like this like, these ain't lego my ego these are they okay go back for my favorites Baby, the bite doesn't make you want a salsa. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Next, we have, um, these are um, wine. These are lotus, no, these are cherry blossom wine Lay's chips. That was so dramatic. These ones actually blew my mind, and y'all better know I love you because I'm eating these again. I don't even want one that's big, that big. So same kind of thing, pinkish little dots on the chip. No, they're not Cheeto crumbs. This is what the chips look like. The bag smells like wine. Dead, like I was about to cuss. Dead, it smells like wine and the chips Here's the thing, they're not bad. It's just I don't want sweet chips. <laughs> I don't. But the chips taste like wine. They taste like if you, if somebody had poured Moscato on a chip and didn't make it, and, and it just like it just took its flavor, like barefoot Moscato. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to like hate on these chips, but barefoot Moscato poured on a chip that didn't get soggy. That's what those taste like. Cause, Cause they're like, I don't know. It's just different. It's just different. Like, it's just different. And it's funny cause like I started this session, this special thing, like, I don't know what to call it, whatever. I started a category on TikTok on my TikTok channel called Snacky Snacks. And it's where I try different snacks. So this was like one of the first episodes of Snacky Snacks that I tried. So it's like, oh, okay, these are different. But I'm doing it because I wanna get out of my comfort zone when it comes to flavors. I am just talking. Y'all signed up for talking and not eating today. So it helps, you know, like trying new flavors is like going to expand your flavor horizon. Like, what did I put in these to make them like get that little hint of barbecue? Was that the, the, the blackening seasoning? Oh my God. I, I did, the, I always do the, the things just a little bit different to see if I can make them taste better. I did. So these are the last ones. Um, I forgot what kind of berries these are called and I will have to look it up and put it in the thing. I think it starts with an M, but it smells like berries and it's similar to the rice wine one. Um, it has a little, excuse me, rest, red specks on it. I do not like them. I do not. They're not my favorite. I'm American and I am somewhat proud to say that I still just like the plain salty Lay's chips. This is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm not ready. I don't even want to, I want to spit this out, but I'm not going to. Mm. But I would never spit you out. No, nah, baby, I never do you like that. Mm. 
Oh my God. This is so random. And I, oh man, I should've got a water. This is so random. And this is for the adults. Y'all, I just bought one of the little mini handheld vacuum cleaners. The little joints. You just use with your hand. Oh, baby. Those things are amazing, okay? Because the little fur ball that y'all saw in my last episode, baby ain't got his first haircut yet. He is just leaving fur everywhere. And baby, something needed to be done, okay? Plus, my couch is velvet. Do y'all want a house tour? I don't want to. Okay, so here's the thing. I'll finish that thought and then I'll come back to that. My couch is velvet, so fur and like lint and stuff really gets on it. So I have to vacuum the couch. But here's my thing. Do y'all want a house tour? And I'm going to give y'all my reasonings why I think I should and I think I shouldn't. I already think I shouldn't. <laughs> it's like, you know, your 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 personal space is, is your private personal space. That's your space, right? So there's that aspect of it. Then I don't want to like start this narrative of like, how can I say this? Like, like I was raised in a way where it was like, you don't show people what you have. And not in like a, not with any negative connotation associated with it, honestly. It was just like, you keep things private. Like you don't, people don't need to know what kind of car you drive. People don't need to know. It's like, unless they see you in it. You know, if you see me driving, if you see, if I invite you to my home, yes, by all means. But there's like very, there's something very precious about having that level of privacy especially when you have so many other aspects of your life publicized. <clears throat> Come on. Hiccups are gone. <laughs> and so like the, don't get me wrong now, like, I have nice things and I like nice things and I've worked hard for the things that I have, whether it be doing YouTube or prior to YouTube. But I know that seeing what other people have can incite so much personal reflection on what others may not have. Like, you know, like I've been watching these millionaire, like, Heather Dubrow, right? She wanted a real, well, she was a real housewife. She has this amazing mansion. Like, uh, yeah, I want to see it. But do I also wish I had it a little bit when I'm watching? Yes. And I don't want to incite that feeling. In it. I don't know, y'all. I think too much about that kind of stuff. I don't want to offend anybody. I always want to be true to myself. Hmm. <laughs> I've already, I've always been like a really reflective person and I try to be like super mindful of myself and, and, but like it's getting, it's really intensifying now. Like I'm getting to the age where I'm a lot more self-aware and more aware of like how it affects others. Hmm. <sighs> And chips were so not good. And I'm full. Maybe I'll bring this pretzel over to my home, girl. I'm about to go over to her house and bring these chips. I could throw them away at her house because I ain't eating them. Yeah, I'm going to bring that to her. <laughs> my 
my mouth is on fire. This is not the same lipstick that I usually wear with my Hot Cheeto videos, but this one's okay. This is actually a lip stain from NYX Cosmetics. I need to go buy the right red that I usually get because this one's okay, but it's not like, you know, I want the... I want to wear a red lipstick on my next date. That's what it is. Like, I want to wear red lipstick. I haven't worn red lipstick on a date in a long time. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I was just sitting here talking to eating chips and, and pickles. Oh, I hit the mic, my bad. Um, if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for sitting here, kicking in with me, having a little snacker snack. Um, I was in a Red Lobster commercial, so that's airing. If you see me, make sure you uh, be like, oh my God, that's hot. <laughs> and that's it, guys. I love you. Take care of yourselves and stay blessed. Until we eat again. Bye, guys.